Next, and the Imenti Central MP Gideon Mwiti is being investigated over claims that he brutally assaulted and raped a woman who visited him in his private office in Westlands on Saturday night. The 29-year-old complainant has been admitted at the Nairobi Women's Hospital. And now the reason we bring this up is the sensitivity in covering sexual assault cases. This adds to the cases against Parliament on sexual assault claims. Turbo MP Elisha Busiene allegedly became violent on Taveta women representative Joyce Lay after she refused his sexual advances on March 18th. And uh, we have Joyce Lay in studio to respond to uh, some of the issues that have come up. And I'll just, first of all, thank you for joining us. Um, the framing of this particular story and issue, if you look at the cover, the uh, front page of the star right here, if I could hold it up to the uh, camera, um, can you tell us what's the problem with this picture in terms of representing you? Thank you very much, Mark. Uh, there's everything wrong with the picture because um, the fact that the, uh, the journalist puts an, a, a, an almost official photo of, of Moishimua and my photo, this is an old photo where we're attending a, a New Year's party. It is not an official photo. Every media house has official photos of uh, members of parliament. But I think it is malicious for somebody to use such a photo to put it, uh, you know, to make, to make people start, in, start to question, right. you know, why is she dressed like that? This is not how I was dressed when I, go to, to, when I went to Japan. When I go to parliament, I don't dress like that. I mean, you, you dress to every occasion. Yeah. If you're going to a party, you dress as if you're going to a party. And it's not a crime for members of parliament to attend parties, right? And, and so you, right. you dress when, you know, like you're going to the party. And the fact that he, he said, Tarbo MP Alicia Busene and called me just Joyce Lay. I mean, these are things that I, I, I meet every day in, you know, everywhere else that I go. People find it difficult to call me Mwishimua. I, I wonder why, you know. All right, Mwishimua, let me <laughs> take it to uh, Shiro Morioki. She is a radio presenter with The Nation uh, FM, The Night Show. Uh, looking at this as mm. a lady, first of all, and also someone who's in the media, mm. what is the problem with this framing? Um, there's a great deal of subtext in the framing of that conversation and the framing of the photograph. Like she has stated, let's not even go as far as the intricacies of the photograph. If you read the caption, like she said, yes. um, um, Honorable um, Buisene is referred to by his official title. She's simply referred to as Joyce Lay. That in itself takes away from her accomplishments and, and her title. She's as much a member of parliament as he is. Second of all, you can tell uh, from their demeanor. She is casual, he is not. He, he has a jacket on and you know she has um, a vest on. First of all, I think, I would not call that lazy journalism because it actually did take a great deal of effort to actually go through the archives exactly. and find that photograph. Mm -hmm. I googled her because I had her on my show like maybe 10-20 exactly. minutes ago. Yeah. I googled her and it took me all of five seconds to find her official photograph. Yes. So this actually took a great deal more effort to frame her in a certain light, especially because the, the subject at hand is sexual assault and our default setting is trying to paint the woman in a bad light so that we can somehow absolve the man in question of responsibility. And I think that if that is our default setting, it's a deeply unfortunate. Well, something else that came up and is a focus is uh, the um, portrayal, or rather the comments by a popular radio host, mm -hmm. and I'm sure you've seen this, uh, about this particular incident. Uh, actually, this was an, uh, another incident, the incident of the Amenti Central MP Gideon Mwiti, uh, who is alleged to have raped a lady uh, on Saturday night, I believe, in Westlands. And uh, the popular Kenyan radio host blamed, uh, I believe we can be able to grab a shot of this particular um, screen, a popular Kenyan radio host blamed an alleged rape victim and Kenyans didn't like it. Well, if you look at what the person tweeted, uh, just asking, so a married woman agrees to meet an honorable member of parliament, male member of parliament at 10.30 p.m. alone. Um, it's, it's quite unfortunate because um, I remember even during our conversation with, um, with the team that were in Japan, 
they started accusing me of why did I have to report that on um, on a group chat? Why didn't because, you because I, because at, at that particular moment I didn't have anybody to to talk to. I was furious. I was mad. I wanted to talk to somebody, and when I I, I insisted that they have to wake up the lead of delegation, they said no, Mishma, just go to your room and sleep. So I went to my room and mad. I want to talk to somebody. I want to report this matter to somebody. So I I, I went through the 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 committee group chat and reported the matter to, to the chair. I didn't take it to the media. Someone from the group chat took it out to, to yes. the media. But then it, 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 it kind of like played back to me, like why did you have to, to take it to, to, the, to the WhatsApp group? And I remember even at, at some point I was like, you know, I also have a right even to bring it to the, you know, to the floor of the house. And plus uh, an issue like this, it should be reported to the committee. We have a, a committee uh, on discipline. It should be reported there. Even mm -hmm. the speaker should know. And, and one member said, you know, if you're going to take it that high, then prepare your witnesses. So you can imagine, like what, what Shiri is saying, it always come back to, to a woman, woman because you've reported that matter, then they paint it as if you are the person on the wrong. So prepare your witnesses. So who sexually gets violated? in front of witnesses. Yeah. You and, understand? And, and, and Shiro, some of the responses to the tweet, as we can see there, uh, does that make it okay for the MP to rape her? This is uh, in response to what this uh, radio personality had said about the lady being in the same room with a male, a, a married woman being in the same room with another man at 10.30 p.m. Shiro, this is a media personality who has a lot of clout. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, is this responsible? I actually know him and, you know, I like him and I respect him. So I was doubly disappointed because it's not something I expected of someone who, number one, is the most uh, followed media personality on Facebook. He has 1.3 million followers on his Facebook page. So um, for him to put that on such a huge platform is just doubly disappointing. Second of all, I cannot believe that in 2015, we're still having the, the kinds of conversations. What was she doing there? What was she wearing? What right did, did she have? Because my second question is this. Um, have we been reduced to a society where, wherein women only have eight hours in a day in mm -hmm. which to transact their business with a reasonable expectation of security? Is that what you're saying? Number two, if I happen to be out past 10.30, does that mean that rape is therefore on the menu for mm -hmm. me and I have no right, uh, no uh, expectation of legal recourse because what was I doing out at that time? I work until midnight. Um, I'm taken home by male drivers. If something, God forbid, was to happen to me, would that be the same kinds of questions I was going to be asked? Are you trying to say that women should not work night shifts? Do, was the night only made for men? You ask 2015, what does this say about the perception of the same? Exactly, and in, even in 2015, um, we find it also difficult for us as women also to, to you know, to stay in, in leadership because we know that women who have gone before before us have fought this battle, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, it's, it's not won yet. I think we've, we've just begun. Mm -hmm. Just having uh, increased numbers in, in parliament, that does not mean that we've won, we've won the war. And I mean, there, there is freedom. I mean, freedom of movement, and a, a woman can decide to be at a place at that particular time. And if a woman is found in a club at 10 or past 10, that does not, you know, make her less a, a woman. She is still a woman. Right. Yeah. And, and what does it say about the responsibility of media in shaping perception then and changing? I think we in the media so often uh, forget our power in the agenda setting you know function that we hold that is so powerful and it is our responsibility even like we, we have seen a simple coverage and this is not something um, that should be taken lightly people say no it's just a photograph yeah. but photographs they say a, a picture is worth a thousand words they could there's no need to go to the story on page six. This picture already tells me what exactly they wanted me to know, how they're framing this narrative. And we in the media need to understand that there are certain more sensitive ways in which to frame the narrative in as far as you know, crimes of a sexual nature are concerned. Thank you, Shiro Moroke. Moishimi, are you taking this further? Um, like I said, we were we were called in for a meeting by the leader of delegation before we left uh, we left Tokyo, and which we admitted to to to, uh, to what he did, and uh, of course he was like, oh, I, I didn't mean to to you know to offend you. I didn't know that he was going to offend you. Mm -hmm. It was it was only a joke. But I was like, you know, 
we, you can't talk, take jokes uh, that far. So he apologized. But the fact that it's outside there in the, in the public domain, I think it's up to him to, to decide whether he's going to apologize before the public or not, because it's already in public. You think it, it's a necessary uh, move? I think it is. For public apology? Yes, it is. Thank you, Moishimiya. Joyce uh, Lay. And of course, there's just, uh, just before we uh, close this uh, section, the MP tweet. This is Churchill's show host. He's actually uh, making um, an apology. The MP tweet wasn't meant to condone or justify rape under any circumstances, but to initiate a conversation that condemns it. So let's get talking. And mm -hmm. thank you, Shiro Miroki, uh, Nation FM uh, presenter, and Moishimiwa Joyce thank Lay for thank joining you. us on this conversation. We have more on the show, including the focus on cancer and also corporate coverage and the muzzling based on the revenue we get. Stay with Press Pass. Mm -hmm.